どうされますかベッドをお願いしますでは始めましょう I'll stand. どうされますかベッドをお願いしますお手柔らかに I'll stand. やりましたね<笑> Sorry. どうされますかベッドをお願いしますでは始めましょう Hit me. Fuck. I see you got me. Do you want to get the bed? I'll give you a hand. I'll give you a hand. I'll stand. I see you got me. Do you want to get the bed? I'll give you a hand. Let's begin. Hit me. Fuck. Hit me. Hit me. I'll stand. I'm just gonna have 20. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you just can't. How are you doing? Bed. I'll give you a hand. Hit me. Hit me. I'll stand. I see you. You've got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> どうされますかベッドをお願いしますでは始めましょう Hit me Are you fucking serious? I have a 16 or a 6 and I get a 10 and it's back to 16 I'll stand He has a fucking 17. I see you got me. Uh, this is Cole loses his fucking money ASMR. Right now. Oh my fucking god. I'll stand. Alright. I'll stand. Of course, he fucking it. pushes. Do you want to go to bed? Do you want to go to bed? Do you want to go to bed? Hit me. I'll stand. Thank God. All right. どうされますかベッドをお願いしますでは始めましょう Hit me Hit me I'll stand What a fucking shitty hand That's good enough Alright so the point of blackjack is that you want to get as close to 21 or on 21 as as you can right どうされますかベッドをお願いします。お手柔らかに。Bed. Okay, so I have a six right now. So my options are I can hit, which will give me another card and bring my total up. I can stand, and I'll stay with six. I can double down. I can only draw one more card. Um, and as a result, I will. Uh. I will double my bet, and I can only draw one more card. And then I can surrender, which gives me back half of my bet. So since I have a low number, and I'm not close to 21 at all, I want to hit, hit right here. And I got a 3, so I'm at 9. So again, I want to hit. Hit me. So now I'm at 17. And I probably don't want to hit, because there are a lot of other cards that could 
push me over 21, and when you go over 21, you bust, and you don't want that. I'll so stand. I'm going to stand on 16. Now the dealer has to draw to 17. Like that. So he wins. Because he has a higher number than me. He's closer to, to 21 than I am. And when you have two cards of the same value, you can um, split. So you can get one card. So I'll just do it. I'll split right here. See, this has. This is now a 20. Since I split these, I split these hands. Split these cards into do two different hands. I'll stand. I'll stand. So that's pretty good. They're both 19 and 20. So that's a pretty good split, I'd say. And he busts. <laughs> so I get Sorry. tons of money back. Because I won on both of my hands. Because it's 21. I don't make the rules. That's just, it's 21. Blackjack. And I got a blackjack. So if you get a blackjack, then you just win automatically. That's when you get 21 right at the start. And have a jack. So. Basically, that means you have a jack and an ace. So this is 15. Um... Not a really good hand, because there are a lot of cards that could push me over and bust, but there are also a lot of cards, but uh, I'm, I'm 15, and, it's, and that's under 17. So the dealer could possibly win, and the dealer has a 4 right now. So, um, theoretically, the dealer has to draw, will have to draw to get over 17 because the highest value card that the dealer can have is also 15 so he will have to draw so I could stand, I'll stand. see the high, he got a 14 so now he has to hit and so that could push him over 21 and it did <laughs> so I went Sorry. yes it's blackjack everywhere <laughs> This is a 19, uh, no reason to really hit, so I'm going to stand, dealer has to draw, dealer hits 17, if he hits 17 he has to stand. So generally you want to be above 17. So I got uh, a 10 here and I could split it, so uh, I guess I'll split it. I'll split. Is it Jack Black? I didn't really. I didn't. I didn't see it. Though. Hit me. I'm a little I'll faded stand. right now. Hit me. So these are two I'll good stand. hands. 18 and 19. And he got 16. So I, I fucking won, because he has to draw. <laughs> Sorry. So I got big money. So this is cold gating money. So. The dealer shows an ace. If the dealer shows an ace or he shows a jack, then you can take insurance. And insurance is basically, um, you pay half of your bet, and if it turns out he does have blackjack, then you save all your money. But if he doesn't have blackjack, then you just gave up half of your bet. So I don't think he has blackjack. Um, so I'm just gonna say no. And he has blackjack. So, whatever. Feels bad. I just lose. I just lose my original bet. But whatever. I didn't think he had blackjack. But again, there's, you know. Hit me. I probably should have seen it from the fact that none of us had aces. So he probably had it. Right. Whatever. I want my money back. So he says a 10, I have 11, so I'm hit gonna me. hit. And I'll I get stand. 19, so that's pretty lucky. Ah, but he has a 20, so That was the best card he could have. I shouldn't have surrendered. You're best. 
He showed a queen, which made me scared. So. Oh, I'll stand. God, oh, I got so close. どうされ。どうお願いします。では、始めましょう。I'll stand. If this dealer gets twenty one, I'm I'm stopping. <laughs> Sorry. Thank fucking god. That was a god hand for sure. No. Because casinos are fucking rigged. I'll take the insurance. I'll split. split this shit. I'll stand. And I got blackjack. Fucking excellent. Blackjacks are blackjack is theoretically the best odds you have at a casino because slot machines and poker are all rigged. So that's why uh, blackjack is very popular. Hit me. Hit me. Oh, beautiful. I'll stand. I would like to go to Las Vegas for, you know, like Evo or something, but uh, I'd probably go to the casinos and drink and then play the slot machines. But I put a limit on myself. I'd be like, you cannot have. Uh, you cannot bring more than this amount of money into the casino. Uh, because every casino has to make a profit somehow, so they rig it so that the chances of you actually getting a payout are extremely low. Hit me. I'll stand. Beautiful. Alright! Hit me. I'll stand. He's gonna have 17. Or 20. Oh, you got me. Yep. Hit me. I'll stand. 20s two times in a row? I'll split. Hit me. Why did I hit that? Ah, I pressed the button too fast. I'll stand. Fucking god damn it. That would have been a 19 and a 20. I would have won both hands. Fucking god damn it. <sighs> yeah, the chances of winning are low, but even then they're I'll fair. Stand. But in a casino, since the casino has to make a profit out of the people that go there, they have to rig it in such a way that the house always wins. I'll stand. Sorry. 
I'll stay. Well, you're probably never gonna go to a casino, so I don't know. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> Sorry. どうされますか。ベッドをお願いします。お手柔らかに。Blackjack。お強いですか。<笑> Sorry。どうされますか。ベッドをお願いします。では始めましょう。Gambling laws are basically that children can't gamble. That's pretty much it. But if casinos can rig it in their favor, they will. Hell, even fucking claw machines are rigged. There's nothing stopping them from. Hit me. Hit me. I don't know the all, the intricacies of fucking gambling laws. It's also illegal to drink under 21, but you know. どうされますか。ベッドをお願いでは始めましょう。I'll split. I'll stand. I'll stand. Alright. They're not really gambling with their business if they're still around and still rigging it. Hit me. Hit me. I'll stand.
どうされますかベッドをお願いしますでは始めましょうヘッドミー I'll stand I'll see you got me どうされますかベッドをお願いしますお手柔らかにヘッドミー I'll stand どうされますかベッドをお願いしでは始めましょうあっステンドあっステンドあっどうされますかベッドをお願いしますお手柔らかに I'll stand. All right. どうされますかベッドをお願いしますでは始めましょう Hit me. I'll stand. どうされますかベッドをお願いしますお手柔らかにお尻の中どうされますかベッドをお願いしますでは始めましょう I'll split. Hit me. I'll stand. Hit me. I'll stand. やりますか、right. yes. どうされますかベッドをお願いしますお手柔らかに Hit me. I'll stand. やりますどうされますかベッドをお願いしますでは始めましょう。Make it to a thousand stop. I'll split. Hit me. Hit me. I'll stand. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. <laughs> What the fuck is this hand? Are you kidding me? Low draw, low draw, low draw, low draw. Oh my goodness. And then he busts. Do you want to go to the bed? Do you want to go to the bed? どうされますかベッドをお願いします。始めましょう。I'll split. Hit me. I'll stand. やりましたね。Alright, I had a thousand. I'm good. どうされますか
What's up? Go to the casinos. Double slimes.
won't believe it. I had a date. The date was great. Oh my god. Huh? Wow, are you serious? Hi. I see you as more than just a part-time worker. I see you as my full-time woman. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> it's almost mm -hmm. like you're Cupid or something. I have a wonderful boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Mission accomplished. Yeah. Two hundred ten thousand twenty two fucking money in the bank. Oh yeah, baby. Two hundred thousand and two hundred ten thousand. Two ten thousand. Where's me, Hori? Yamisa. Yes. So the last one I did was very, very easy. So let's see if this one is even easier. It's supposed to be harder, but you know, this game's made for kids. Plus one plus one times two equals point. It equals three. Uh, so that must one must be one point five. Maybe. Well, I have to see. What's two times two times two? Two it equals. Oh. <sighs> to get the last one. Five times six. So if the numbers are next to each other, that, that means they're being added together. And if there's the multiplication sign between them, then yeah. So I think one is point five. Three 
times 1.5 times 3 is 4.5. So I don't know. One plus one times nine plus nine equals four. Man, I was hoping you'd be able to help me out with this because this shit's fucking stupid. Next to each other, they're being added. I'm pretty sure. Like one, one, one is one plus one plus one. I don't know. So if 1 equals 0 0.5, then 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 equals 1.5, and 1.5 times 2 equals 3. can one be one? One is one plus one plus one times two does not equal three. I don't know how else to explain it to you, but they're variables. They're not made to represent the numbers. I don't know. I'm just gonna look it up at this point. If none of us are gonna work on solving it. None of the numbers mean anything. <laughs> I won't look it up. Put the controller down. We can both look at this together.
guessing x does mean multiply, but I'm trying to look at it a different way. Because the first thing it is is 111 times 2 equals 3, and then the first digit of the safe code is 111 times 3 equals blank. So I'm try I'm thinking that there's no math involved. And maybe I don't know. If one on one times two equals three, then one on one times three would equal what? Four? see that every hint that they give you at the top corresponds with a line in the safe code, so they're probably not variables because 5 and 6 don't have anything to represent them. Probably not variables, probably don't need to multiply them.
that something? A stroke of genius. Yes. Three, four, one, two. Yagami san. There's no karaoke in this game, which is disappointing. Come on, that's why I play these games. Pal, how'd it go? Get me one of those sweet VR prizes? Sorry. Turns out I suck. You couldn't do it, huh? Oh, well. Sorry for borrowing your legs. Anyways, I asked around about your red nose fella. Still don't know where he is, but I did find who might. Yeah? At least that's what they told me. Oh, and speak of the devil. You're the one looking for that homeless guy? Yeah? You find him? No, not yet. Try heading over to the children's park, then. Some volunteers are handing out free food. All the hungry homeless of Kamurocho will be there. This guy sounds like a Thanks stern the character. Eh, don't mention it. See ya. On my way to the children's park. Think I might run into the thief. You mean the guy who robbed us is still in town? Not sure. 
But even if he isn't, I might find a lead or two. According to Ayabe, the thief was a homeless guy by the name of Red Nose. You're saying a bum took our money? Looks like it. No clue if he's still alive, though. After Higashi got to him, that is. Right. Well, I'm in. See you at the children's park, yeah? Sorry about this. Looks like they weren't handing out food after all. My bad. So we're doing this instead? Yep. Red Nose sends his regards! Time to beat up the homeless. <laughs> You guys are getting old for this. Why'd you attack me? <laughs> we wanted to know who you are. Why would someone want to know about Red Nose now? So, you're a friend of his? Is he still alive? No. Hasn't been for a while now. When'd he die? About a year ago. Someone found him floating face up in the sewer. Body was all shot up with bullet holes. Shot? Did you go to the police? No, of course not. What are the cops gonna do for us? Dead bum in a ditch is just more paperwork for them. Either way, his body's long gone. But we still want to find out what happened to him. That's the best funeral we can give him now. <sighs> right. Don't have a clue who killed him, though. Or why. All we remember is that a year ago, some Tojo clan Yakuza was looking for him. Must be Higashi. And is that Yakuza the one who killed Red Nose? <sighs> Not sure. Those types are kinda out of our league, you know? We thought if anyone would know something, it'd be you. That's why we... Sorry, but my buddy here's got more fight in him than some random Yakuza. Fighting's been the only constant thing in his life. 
<laughs> That's Kamurocho for you. You're late, Kaito-san. Is this the guy who was looking for Red Nose? Yep, that's him. Not a doubt in my mind. So, a year ago, Higashi took the money back from Red Nose and returned it to the Matsugane family. Around the same time, Red Nose turns up ice cold in the sewer. Who do you think killed him? I... I just can't believe it. Higashi's not a murderer. Where would he have even gotten a gun? There are ways. This is Gamurocho, remember? I'm gonna go talk to Higashi. You're coming too, right, Kaito-san? Don't you want to know what happened? Okay, I'll come. Let's head to Charles then. If you were in Kamarocho, you would not die immediately because Kiryu and me would protect you. Kiryu and I. Imagine if McDonald's is open to you. Out of the way! Imagine if you could live in the east. Kaito's like, bro, slow down, please. building? No, it's that one. It's this one? It's one of those two. Whoa! 
guys. Higashi san! Yagami's here, and Kaito's with him. Wow. <laughs> Never thought I'd see you roll in here. Kaito san. Only seemed fair after what you pulled. Look, we need to talk. <laughs> and about what exactly? Higashi. Red Nose. Did you kill him last year? Who? Don't play dumb. The guy who broke into the Matsugane family office. Look, we already know you got the money back from him. And not long after, Red Nose turned up dead in the sewers. As for the cause, it seems he'd been shot. Higashi-san! Motherfucker! How dare you! I need you to answer me. Did you kill Red Nose or not? Start talking, Higashi! <laughs> I did it for you, man. If I could have just gotten the money... Maybe they wouldn't have kicked you out of the fucking family. I was ready to do whatever I needed to do. For Kaito, huh? If you really mean it, then drop the goddamn gun! Not a chance! So it's all on the table. You really gonna kill us, huh, Higashi? It's over. You don't have enough bullets in that damn gun. You can't kill us all. so much I didn't. I didn't kill him. What? I'm not the one who murdered Red Nose. Then who the hell was it? 
Red Nose must have had a contact in the Matsugane family. That's the only way he got away with it. And whoever that contact was gave him all sorts of info. When security was light, where the safe was, not to mention when there'd be the most money. There's no way you steal from the Yakuza without some help. So, is Red Nose's contact the one who killed him? To cover it all up? Probably. But who would have done something like that? Stealing their own family's money. It wasn't about the money. Huh? They wanted to rub you out of the picture, Kaito. That's why it happened when you were on guard duty. To rub me out? If that's it, then the contact must have been... Yeah. Captain Hamra. You were the only thing between him and total control of the family. With you gone, he could consolidate his power. At least that's how he saw it. And he wasn't wrong. Just look at it now. Yeah. Nobody can stand up to the captain anymore. With the power and money he's got, he's the only thing keeping us afloat. How exactly did Red Nose die? You know, don't you, Higashi? It was the day after the hundred mil went missing. After Kaito Anaki got expelled. I bought some info from a dirty cop. Led me right to the name Red Nose. I asked all around town. Till eventually I ended up down in the sewers. But me and Red Nose. We weren't the only two there. You found Hamra, didn't you? They were making a deal. Hamra was gonna get 90 mil. Red Nose would have walked away alive. And 10 million yen richer at that. Should have been all wrapped up, clean and easy. there come out Hamura is that him it's Higashi sir sorry to barge in on you like this Higashi what in the fuck are you doing here are you alone I uh, I don't know if you realize but that's the guy that's red nose he stole the hundred mil from our office sorry red nose this is nothing personal. <gasps> Captain? Hey, um, not really a good idea. Tell me, how'd you find out Red Nose was the thief? I... Uh, I... Well, I... What was I supposed to do? I told him everything. How I was in the office when the thief broke in and stole the money. How I bought police info from Ayabe and followed the trail to Red Nose. I kept talking, like my fucking life depended on it. Probably did, to be honest. Hmm. Real insightful. You did all that so you could clear your buddy Kaito's name, huh? Aren't you just the most loyal boy in town? Please, don't shoot. Whatever it is you want, I'm begging you, Captain. But, Captain, hold on. You sure? Uh, probably right. You want to stay alive. You show us some loyalty. Prove yourself once and for all. But how? How can 
can I? Here's how. What? He wouldn't have had to die if you didn't show your sorry face. Not only that, he would have walked away ten million richer. Poor son of a bitch. His blood's on your hands, you know. No! <laughs> oh, wow. You scream like a fucking whore. Kind of a turn on, to be honest. so upset for you're finally a real yakuza now so you really didn't kill him huh no, but people know I was out looking for him. My prints are all over the gun, too. No matter how you look at it, I don't got an alibi. You said it yourself. I look like a real Yakuza now. I was thinking the same thing. Hey, what if we told Matsugane-san about this? Think he could put the squeeze on Hamura? Not a chance. The boss can't stop him anymore. Telling him would just make things worse. That's why Higashi kept it a secret. Tough as it sounds, it was the right move. Right. Hell of a thing. All right, I'm gonna go, Kaito-san. Mm hmm This is between the two of you now. I'm sure you've got a lot to catch up on. I'm not sure what it is. I just I can't stand that guy. Yeah? I mean, he's known you way longer than I have. And the boss has his back, even though he never swore up. I don't know. Something's just off about him. Hey, you ever hear what happened to his dad? Nope. What happened? Let me start from the beginning. From what I've heard, he was a stand-up guy. <laughs> Taught him kung fu and everything. He was a lawyer, too. Oh, yeah? Things changed when Tak was 15. His dad took a dead-to-rights murder case and actually managed to get an acquittal. One of the victim's relatives wasn't too happy about that, though. Huh? <laughs> When Tak was younger, his parents were both stabbed to death. Tak was at a friend's house when it happened. He was there to avoid them, pissed about the hours they were working. But maybe if he'd been home, maybe he could have done something. Anything. Maybe his parents would still be alive. This guy who killed the family. Did they ever catch him? He hung himself at the scene of the crime. Tragic doesn't even begin to describe it. Tak ended up coming to Kamurocho right after that. Didn't want any help from his relatives, neither. So he lied about his age and snagged a job at Tenda. Got it. So that's when he met you, huh? Yeah. And if you want the truth, I wasn't too big on the guy at first, either. I was pretty green at the time, too. But here comes this 15-year-old punk picking a fight with a Yakuza my size. The ball's on that one. Probably thought he stood a chance. <laughs> Probably. 
until I broke his nose. But no matter how much he gets beaten down, Talk's not the kind of guy to give up. Every time I beat the crap out of him, he'd act like it was no big deal. Then one day, and I couldn't tell you why, Matsugane-san took a shine to him. This weird father something just kind of happened. Talk wouldn't listen to anyone else. For me and you, becoming Yakuza was our only choice. But for him, it was different. And if I had to guess, the boss could see that. And that's why he took him in. Talk didn't let him down, though. Ended up passing the bar exam not long after. I remember. Wasn't too pleased with it myself. <laughs> but that's all in the past. It's different now. He's a dead man walking. What are you and Matsugane-san still seeing him? I could ask the same question about a guy who got kicked out for letting his safe get robbed. Kamurocho chews up guys like us. And when it spits you out, you're right back on the street. But me and him, we grew up here. We don't have another home. So even if it means butting heads with Captain Hamura, we're gonna see this shit through. Anaki. The captain's word is absolute. At least for now. But if he ever gave the order to off you, I might have to think twice about it. <laughs> I think I can live with that. As Yagami chases the mole, the Matsugani family's net tightens. A year ago, Kaito was expelled from the family, and its power structure changed entirely. But the whole thing was a setup. In Kamarocho, men are pulled into the criminal underworld's currents. But those that refuse to submit to its tides will always struggle. So, Higashi, tell me, do you have a good reason you aren't doing what I asked? No, I don't, boss. You sure could use one with Tox still hanging around. It's time to start doing your damn job! Awfully tense lately. <sighs> Kinda kills the whole room, you know. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Mm. He's always in such a bad mood.
one dead, one wounded in the Tojo clan's Matsugane office shooting. Dead guy's name was Kurimoto. Been in the family for years. Did I know him? Doubt it. He didn't make a habit of standing out. Well, at least they got the killer. Apparently he says he's just an office worker. Bullshit. Guy's a Kyorei assassin, no doubt. You sure? Yep. At least that's what Higashi told me. Oh, you mean the guy who was ready to shoot me the other day? <laughs> you still sore about that? Anyway, according to Higashi, this guy shot Kurimoto three times in the torso. Then, he shot both his eyes out. Why? Must be the Kyorei's idea of revenge. If things keep going like this, though, even the Tojo clan proper might end up getting involved. So the Kyorei clan wants a war? Looks like it. Kamurocho is turning into a goddamn battlefield. Higashi was in the office when the shooting happened. Probably wouldn't hurt to swing by the arcade and get the scoop. Alright, seeing as how it's four in the morning now, I think this is a good stopping point. Because I'm really tired. But yeah, I'll probably play more during the day once I do some work. Higashi was in front of that.